Hello everybody, welcome to Lightning Outdoors, and today we are going to be, this is episode 2 of Bast Cash, and we will be reviewing some of the tackle I will be using. First off, we're going to start with some of the lines that I got, and we'll be using periodically. Starting off is the Bass Pro Shops Crappie Max 6 pound camouflage. I'll throw like crappie jigs and stuff like that, road runners, uh, with that, and Works really good. Catches the same amount of fish as any other bait. And uh, yeah, set that to the side. Next I got, give me a moment, some 10 pound Berkeley Big Game, tri Berkeley Trilene Big Game, uh, mono, green. And uh, you'll see me throwing this for just about everything. Sorry, I'm on boat. And, uh, it's still docked up and it's windy. Uh, yeah. We got some Power Pro 10 pound braid with the 2 pound test diameter. Uh, 150 yards of it. You'll see me throw this like punching rigs and wackies and drop shot and all that good junk. Uh, I got some 80 pound spider, spider wire somewhere in my bag. Oh, and I uh, forgot about this. Uh, I got some Stren Easy Mono, 20 pound. Yeah, you won't really see me throw that much. I'll throw it, just not that much. Oh, well, trying to find the line. Here it is, bottom of the bag. Yeah, it's 80. You won't really see me throw that thing for anything. That's all you need to know about that. Uh, next, where to start? I think we're going to start with my tackle box. Um, uh, yeah, I got a lot of junk in my tackle box. Let's just tilt it a little bit. Oh, sorry, losing. Okay, guys, there we go. Uh, first things first, down here we got some blades. We got a Lindy jig there. We got a Road Runner, like I said. And the bullet weight that's not supposed to be there. There we go. We got all my bullet weights. We got, uh, painted, unpainted, uh, I got way far up in a corner to where you where you can't see them. I got some swim bait hooks. Really good. I'll throw those for like swim baits and stuff. And uh, over just a little bit, we got some. We got a random assortment of hooks here. We got some uh, EWGs and straight shanks. I got a frog. Yeah, you all remember this frog from a uh, froggy failure. Uh, I got my two jerk baits. And those are trails minnow. And one moment, a Bass Pro Shops XPS bleeding Tennessee shad. Straight King miniature buzz bait. And then just. I'm going to uh, finesse shaky heads and dead heads and stuff like that. Sorry, y'all. don't really have the best angle. I'm, I'm working with what I got here, guys. It's played out a lot better in my mind. On the other side, we got uh, some flies down there and a bobber. Don't really pay attention. Here we got all my spinner baits. I got, like, five white ones, a red chart. A blue yellow pattern, half ounce. I got a lot. We ain't even gonna go through there. We got a junk pile up there. We got my two jigs there at the very top. We got nothing in there. Then we got all my crankbaits and hard top waters. Which is right now just my jitterbug. And uh yeah, that's that's my tackle box, so yeah, you'll you'll see a lot of this. 
Uh, if you want me to go more in depth about what's in my tackle box, uh, honestly, I'll probably make a separate video on that. I got a lot of, well, I already made a video about my crankbaits. I gave away the flicker shad, by the way. Uh, next, we're going to start with our lures. We're going to originally start with just the finesse. And uh, just for, so you can get an idea on how much finesse I own, once I can find it all. Uh, let me know how y'all consider uh, brush hogs, if y'all consider brush hogs finesse. I do. I use them for punching. Not often, but I do use them. These here were originally squirming worms, but last one got the tail ripped off, so now they're finesse worms. Wait, no, those are my two. Wrong one. Uh, here they are. Sinkas. Oh, and those aren't even all my jigs that I just showed y'all. I got some lunkers, or some ledger rocks. One of them's tied on right now, so throw those to the side. But yeah, that's a lot of, a lot of finesse here. I'm going to start off with uh, my missile baits. I got some of their 48s. Stick them on a wacky rig. Uh, I'll show you what they look like. They legit look just like a stick worm. Uh, and these things, they're freaking tougher than rocks. Uh, you can rig them, re-rig them, re-re-re-rig them. They ain't gonna break. Next, we got uh, some Bass Pro Shops plum cut tails with the white Cinco thrown in because I couldn't find my Cinco's when I was using it. Uh, this is what one looks like. I throw it on a jig head and then fish it as the Ned. And yeah. Oh wait, I forgot to throw my Neds in here. And I even, even lost one of my Ned things. So yeah, I lost the craw Neds. So Wondering what my nids look like right now. That's that's it. Just some miniature yum dingers. One of one of them's rigged up. Then we got my Bass Pro Shops white Cinco's. They look legit just how you can see them in the package. Sticko worms, Cinco's, whatever the heck you want to call them. They're all the same thing. Uh, then we got my yum dingers. Hold on, we're losing frame rate. This will be the last one that I'm gonna. But yeah, you can uh, see it. Looks just like a Cinco. Fish it the same way. One more. Okay, now my camera's working. But yeah, these are the broken ones. Not even gonna talk about those. Uh, we got some Zoom bubble gums. Uh, what are these? Trick worms. Zoom bubble gum trick worms. You can see them clearly through the package. Next, we're going to leave out the brush hogs. There's more uh, creature. Uh, we got some smatis. Like little drop shot baits. Here, I'll show you one. So you can get a better look at what I'm actually talking about. Like that. That's, that's what it looks like. A little drop shot worm. Or something. Never caught anything on them. Don't throw them. So... Uh, next we got Bass Pro Shops, June Bugs, uh, check out Drop Shot Bassin, or Drop Shot Bass Fishing, I use those in that. Then we got some KVD Perfect Plastics, Bold Bluegill, and yeah, just simple finesse, coffee scented, and uh, yeah, they're really... Really nice worms. Pricey and really nice. Alright, uh, next we got some fish ooeys. I don't really know what the heck these things are. I punch with them and they work really good, so that's all I all I needed. Next we're gonna talk about my creatures. Well, we're gonna put crawls in a different chunk. 
I just realized if I don't throw in crawlers, those are all my creatures. So we're gonna throw in some crawlers. Okay, to start off with, we got some gulp, uh, saltwater junk, not going to mention those. We got some Guggen Bandita bugs, that's what they look like in the corner. Uh, in this package, I got Summer Craw, there is a Alabama Craw mixed in, because, man, why not? Uh, then I got a pack of actual Alabama Craw. When we were at the Bassboro Capital, I couldn't find any Summer Craw, so I just bought Alabama Craw. Uh, we got some Bobby Lane Fatty Craws right there. That's what it looks like. We got some Zoom Lizards. Uh, on a cloudy day, Texas rigging it, and then just on a four hot hook with a, not even, with a, like, I don't know, three sixteenth ounce bullet weight. Just let it fall on a loop, fall on a slack line to the bottom. Bass come, they just scoop it off. Oh wait, and forgot one of my craws. Them. The M crawled heads. Yeah. Then we got some Zoom Baby Brush Hog, Watermelon Red. Get one out to show y'all. But uh, yeah, it just looks like a standard, simple, regular brush hog. Got the tails and everything, just small. Never caught anything on them, don't really use them. Next, we're gonna go and let's actually show you my tubes, just for the heck of it. Yep, y'all remember them. Really good bait. Uh, let's go with my grubs next. We got our Cabela's Firetail clear and white grubs, so those on that Lindy head catches them then we got some purple chart and uh, I think green and orange mixed in together they both catch them uh, now we're gonna sorry guys but this I don't know how you think of this video I don't know if it's boring to y'all or not but even if it is I don't give a care you're gonna watch it next we're gonna start with Swim baits slash flukes. Sorry guys, I'm hitting the camera left and right. Whoa, we got some serious wind here. I don't know how it is where y'all are, but we get some wind. Yeah, but uh, I got some Lunker City Ribsters. Catch the... Some nice fish off those. I got one of them rigged up in the package. I got me some Berkeley Podgy Swim Sheds. You can see right there what they look like. Uh, I've only ever caught a crappie on them. Thing was only 10 inches long. Where I am, the bass are tiny and the crappie are huge. So, uh, we got some Excite Shad Dynasty Swim Sheds. We got some Zoom Watermelon Red Flukes. We got some Cream Pearl Flukes. Or as they call them, jerk baits. Same thing. Flukes, jerk baits, in my opinion, are all the same thing. Next is my worms. Worm one, worm two, worm three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Make sure I'm not sitting on one. Nope. Nope, not missing anything. Yeah, I got nine packs of plastic, starting with the Zoom U tails. Uh, those are purple smoke. We got, uh, how long are these? These are, s I don't know how long they're. We got some 10 inch June bug chartreuse worms from Bass Pro. Some 8 inch garlic scented black chart worms, ribbon tails. Uh, so were the June bug chart, those were also ribbon tails from Bass Pro. We got some. Motor oil, Berkeley power worms. We got some electric grape Berkeley motor oil power worms. It says right there what it looks like. Right there on the orange. Yep. 
and uh one moment now if you watched this far into the video guys you probably like this video go click subscribe uh we got a cream uh black shad in there my only warning it's missing some of the tail we got some yum tequila sunrise worms and last but not least we got the zoom old monsters i'm talking we got the old monster worms I don't know if that's 10 or 12 inches long, but we got some big old stinking zoom old monster worms. And that's what, and uh, we got like two more things. We got some Berkeley power bait scent. And we got my net. It's just a standard trout net. You can probably picture what it looks like. And, uh, Thanks for watching. If you watched this far into the video, consider subscribing. And we'll see y'all next time for the next uh, Bucket of Bass episode. Happy fishing.